I'm sitting here at the park bench and in, fr in front of me it's a house. <laughs> I think they, they are suspicious about me. A guy on a bike sitting on a park bench drinking, drinking a beer. It's something shady about that. <laughs> Good morning. It's uh, cycle day two. I just woke up. <clears throat> it's a beautiful morning. 4 a.m. I, I, <clears throat> I had uh, 20 kil kilometers left, so I didn't hit my mark yesterday, but it's okay. I don't like cycling in the dark. I think I'm going to uh, adjust the mileage, maybe around about 80 kilometers would be enough. I'm going to pack up <coughs> my gear and uh, eat some breakfast and be on my way. See you soon. Yeah, I'm really out of shape. <laughs> this is the second, uh, still the second cycle day. Uh, and I'm, I haven't arrived to, to the mark for yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah. But I feel that uh, I haven't cycled for about eight, nine months, so that's why. Uh, not only why, <coughs> I lost several hours today, several hours. This is what I, I talked about earlier. This is very fine grained sand. So my wheels dig in and they won't let go. So it's hard for me to cycle. It has taken a lot of energy. And uh, <coughs> the roads, um, they went for kil kilometer after kilometer with that type of sand. So, uh, it, it, it has been really hard. <coughs> so, uh, I mapped out on my GPS, but now I'm using the paved road instead. <sighs> I'm not going to do that mistake again. <laughs> I don't know about this country. The, the people I have met, none of them except for the hotel staff. None of them speaks English or understand English. They don't have to, they, they don't have to know, speak perfect, but a little bit, I don't know. But they don't want to speak English. <laughs> I met school kids and I asked them for their directions to the supermarket. They didn't speak English. So, yeah, I don't know about this country. Oh, I'm going to sit here for a while and uh, push forward. See ya! again at the gas station I found this nice table behind the behind the gas station I have a beautiful view here go 
put it charged up and then continue. So see you when I see you. Bye. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I really should uh, get better on filming uh, locations and views and everything like that. Uh, now, uh, the last couple of times I've just um, filmed when I'm having a break. And now I'm having a break. <laughs> and uh, I'm, there's my solar panel. I'm charging up my GPS. I don't know how many charges I have left on my power bank, so I think I, I, I use Mod, Mother Nature to power up it for today. So I don't know how much uh, mileage I cov covered, but today feels good. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my food. So I don't, I didn't want to eat camp food today. So. Yeah, so I'm in a t city called Torun. I checked into a hostel. I really needed to wash off the bear, bear smell. So uh, I'm fresh. Yeah, well, uh, this is my room. I washed up some clothes. I'm going to wash up some more clothes. Uh, Earlier, uh, I went out to Old Town um, and uh, maybe five minutes of walking and then I met two guys and they looked at me and said, F***ing immigrant. Uh, yeah. What could I do? I didn't bother. I went on my way. I had uh, some nice dinner, drank some beer, hmm. had a nice time and on my way home, or back to the hotel, uh, a guy tried to rob me, <laughs> yeah, he tried to rob me, he didn't succeed but uh, yeah, I had luck. So that's my night, how's yours? <laughs> I'm sitting here at the park bench and in, fr in front of me it's a house. <laughs> I think they, they are suspicious about me. A guy on a bike sitting on a park bench drinking, drinking a beer. It's something shady about that. <laughs> and they have dogs. St. Bernard's and something else, a little tiny. There are several dogs. Mm -hmm. Oops, <laughs> but um, let's see if I can get this here. No, oh. there, yeah, so <coughs> and they're over there. The little f they come out from the gate. One of them came out from the gate, but he didn't dare to confront me, so he climbed, climbed back into the compound. <laughs> And it's an old lady there, she's watching me like a hawk. So, uh, too many dogs barking, gets annoying. Yeah. And as I mentioned earlier, I got my first dog chase here in Poland about a, from a, by a, a little <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the trip goes, goes on. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying myself and um, yeah, keep going forward. I'm about uh, the center of, of Poland now, so uh, I'm in a town named uh, Bobova or Bobavo, I don't know how to pronounce it. Now the neighbors is out and they're hawking me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they will come and say hi or something. Or I'll go say hi to them. Yeah, okay, bye bye.